Hello everyone, Linda Israel here, and today I thought I would share my take or idea of adding little fabric flags to your journal pages. I will show you what I do here in just a moment. I've added some fabric to some journal pages and a journal cover that I'm working on, and I wanted to be able to add these little words. So I made little flags out of scraps of paper or yeah, scraps of paper and out of scraps of fabric. So let me show you how to do this. So what I do is I save my cutoffs. Whenever I have to cut down paper, it could be a book page, it could be scrapbook paper, whatever it may be. In this case, I just kind of grabbed a bunch of white pieces and I have a stamp set. Let me grab the stamps. This one right here, and I believe it's called Find Your Wings that has this blank label. You get one, two, three, four stamps, but this stamp is empty. And what I've done is I've gone through and created words that fit inside. So the first thing I'm going to do is get out my archival ink jet black and grab one of these scraps and just stamp it down the line. And then once I've stamped out a few, I'll pick a word or two. So I think this time, let me pick from the, uh, I forgot the name of it, but it's Soar, Grow, Sing, and Bloom. And I believe if you type in Sing or if you type in Bloom, you should find this set. And it is relatively new. I have a whole series of words that are called label words. So you could also do a search for label words. And I'm just gonna go down the line and stamp in a few of these. I even have one that says butterfly. I think it's, uh, I can't remember if it's, butterf it's butterfly bird and, butterfly bee bird and dragonfly. Butterfly. All right, so then the next thing I do is I'll grab my scissors and I will basically just fussy cut these out. So I'll just do one because I have a little bin here with a bunch in them, but I'll just grab one and then start on the edge. And I'm using Fisker's Easy Touch Micro Touch, I think maybe. I like them because they're, they're super pointy and sharp. And great for this type of little project. And then the next thing I'll do is I'll add some distress ink. So I'll just kind of go around the edge. Now, if you're doing thinner paper, just stack a bunch of them in your hand and then do the top one and flip the top one to the back. And that way it won't bend on you. So there's one. And I have a bunch more in here. The next thing I do is find some fabric. I dye a lot of fabric. In this case, this was some muslin that I dyed with Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist. The next thing I want to do is measure this out. So roughly about two and a half inches here. Let me see if it would be better if I zoomed in for you. All right, so about two and a half inches. And what I found is if I fold it in half and then kind of figure out where two and a half inches is and I'll cut it at a diagonal. So then we end up with a piece that looks like this. And I like to keep mine turned sideways. The next thing I did is I happen to have a little bin that I will put the threads when I tear or if it's leftovers, I just kind of pop it in here. So let me grab, oh, I think this blue would be pretty. So I'm just going to grab a little piece of this blue, just kind of lay it where it's kind of peeking out. And then I'll grab one of the label words that I've stamped out, lay that on top, and then I'm going to flip it over and pick a different one. Let's see what I can find. It. Here we go. This one says create. So I'll grab some more of that blue. And I'll glue this down. I'm using Aline's Tacky Glue. And then I have a bunch of flat back rhinestones and I have some sequins. And what I'll do is I've laid them all out on a little nonstick sheet here. And I'll use the best glue ever 
I'll just take a little dot of this. I have a little tweezers here, so it'll be easier. I'll hold that, and then I'll take the best glue ever and just kind of put a little dollop of glue on the back side, and then I'll leave that to air dry for a little bit. It'll turn clear, just putting the needle tip in, and sometimes I can't see. I'll let it turn clear, and when you do, you can then pick this up and it's sticky and we'll plop one down right there so it's not coming off. Now if I pull on it real hard it will but it's not loose. And then I'll pick this up. Got a little rhinestone. So I don't like to put a lot of bulk in my journal but I thought this would be a way for me to use up some of these rhinestones and put them on the edges. So the next thing I'll do is I've got a little tray here. I used a muffin tin of all things and I'll dig around and get a bulb pin. These are these garment pins if you will. I have a few in my shop if you only want a few. Well, most people buy them in bulk now and I want to put it on here so I'll kind of dig around. I'm trying to separate this stuff out just a little bit. I've got some beads here so I'm just going to grab a couple and lay them on my table. So I've got a bead and then I've got a sequin that doesn't have glue on it. And then I will poke my fabric with my pen. So this is going to be on one side and then on this side I'll pick, oh, let's pick another sequin. Just pick a color that I think will go. And this time let's pick a charm. So I've got, here's a little dragonfly charm. Now if I want, I can go ahead and add another bead at the top. And then there is my little dangle that I can hang off the edge of my journal. So I'll show you again what it looks like hanging off the edges. So I'll just go to one of the pages where I want one to be open it up and then I'll just grab a little bit of fabric in my hand and so now that will hang off the edge so when we stack all of our pages together you'll see all these hanging out the edge of the journal. Well I hope you liked an idea of using up these are scraps of paper and little strips of fabric using those flat back rhinestones and sequins on a little flag or page flag or charm journal charm if you will if you like this video give it a thumbs up share it with your friends check the description box for links to my shopping well and the rubber stamps that i use as well as the friendly junk journal people facebook group on my facebook page i kind of have a running um input request that if you will type out four words that you feel go together like for example the uh, soar, sing, bloom, and grow. I put those together as a group of four. But four words that you feel go well together. Give me a comment over on my Facebook page in the thread. And what I'm doing on April the 20th, I will have a drawing. And one person, whosoever their idea was, will get a chance to get those as a free rubber stamp set. All right, everybody. Check out my live streams on Mondays at 3.45 p.m. Central Standard Time. Do go over to my Facebook page as well as my website. Everybody, I appreciate your support. Y'all have a fabulous day. Bye.